he actually spawns without a silencer. We saw it one time. How does does anyone know how that's done? I don't know how to do that. So okay, simple always breaks the game. Electronic though. <laughs> wow, one tap and he's out of there. He assassinated Brokey. That is actually such a shot. And the grenade on top. Another headshot coming in from Boomich, and it's just it's like a grim start here for Phase in the pistol round. Electronic, another fadeaway shot. He just barely even shows himself. Simple and a jump shot what? without the silencer. He just got two kills. That's ridiculous. Oh no way! I I need to see the simple kills back. But those electronic shots were pristine. This one right here, the flash to set him up. He just takes one. I love that he has just, he's calm enough that he's able to actually aim. Some people will just strafe out, take the, t the click, but. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. If you take him down here, that could be three rounds. The value is so high. Yeah. But we've got a bit to be coming about, and that means Bit will be challenged along with Perfecto. So some of the younger players. Oh, Perfecto comes up with one, but Rain sneaks on forward to take down Perfecto. And Bit, he's all in the sight by himself. He's already dispatched one player. No, Brokey doesn't take the shot. Finally is able to take him down. So it will be Twist and Brokey. And no, the retake's already starting. They haven't even planted the bomb yet, but Twist takes down Boomich. And now Simple Electronic, they're thinking about it. A fake tap comes out, but Electronic falls into the site. But Twist is able to wall bang him. Simple finds the trade, and Navi withstand the force buy. Twist all the way outside of Long. Thought maybe he was going to try and set up something more. They're going to go for the B-bomb side quick. It's a bit of Perfecto inside of it. And that's a nice smoke. They're still running right into it. But yeah, Perfecto has all of the advantage. Could have easily been more than the double kill that he got. Brokey also a little bit low on health. And through the window, sneaking in simple, keeping him occupied. And that is going to be a solid defense put up by Na'Vi. 4-0 in their favor. They need some real good utility to make it past this point in the map. Boomich taken down, one kill on Rain. Kerrigan going to return that favor. Twist almost has the angle. Simple, he doesn't realize. Oh, and he flexed it anyway. Taking down, that's not bad at all. He actually got the kill on Twist. He might as well have been dead instantly. Two on three. Let's see if that makes a difference. The bomb being thrown over and they can't catch it. That's a nice toss. And that's going to be a bomb plant with eight seconds on the clock. Yeah, and Kerrigan, he's here to defend Cat. Loses the duel against Bit and... The retake is on now. There is potential for this. Brokey still holding on to that long position. He'll be able to play that for the rest of the round. But no, Navi actually decided to back off. Not enough utility, perhaps. It didn't really matter in this particular instance, but in the 2v2, Brokey actually molotov over the wall to short. Yeah. Electronic is here as well. Perfecto has the angle. That's the first contact. That activates Electronic in the back of the site. The Molly doesn't catch him, but Brokey is keyed onto his angle. So this duel is massive, and Twist takes out Perfecto. Electronic still stands. He's just jumping around back there, and Twist takes him down too. Still, the man advantage remains with Na'Vi, and Brokey and Twist, they have to defend this if they want to get a second round on the board for FaZe. I have another smoke, but it's on Brokey, and it's kind of tricky for him to pull it out and try and throw it right now, because he could jump at the wrong time. Flash to set it up. Smoke, and yeah, that's going to give Brokey maybe a chance if he wanted to beat Molotov. He's going to put it out. That's what he was saving it for. Window, <laughs> a twist, just getting shot in the back, and they're not going to have a chance here. Bit with a double kill. Simple with a double, and it will be Navi winning yet another round. That, that Lurk Smoke out the tunnels is just everything for Navi there. Yeah. Pretty much neutralizes Brokey completely. Plus, they dump a Molotov right on top of him. That just makes things so hard. It's such a stuffy situation. And when you're in the back of the site right there where Brokey is, I mean, that's, it's your worst nightmare, really. Yeah. See what they want to do here. There's the jump down. That's what I thought they wanted to do earlier with Rain. And this time they actually do get through. That probably needed to be a kill. Now he's exposed. He's got his back turned as well. He still picks up the kill on Boomage. And simply can't see anything. Super flashed at the moment. He's got his USP out. Oh, what a flick. A classic simply takes down Brokey on top of it. Jumping up, trying to get the jumping shot onto Twist up there. He's going to be taking down all of my The third kill of the round for him and Twist is up there. Low on health already. He's scoped up and not afraid. And on the other side, it'll be Bit to drop him at the end. But some absolutely vintage, simple shots.
What incredible speed he hits those flicks with. I mean, nobody but Simple does it like that. This one right here, it's, it's like you barely see the player on your screen, and yet <laughs> he's able to take them all down. And the fact that he knows Olaf is going to be swinging on top of that. But yeah, I, I have to agree. Bit has been excellent for Navi. This round, though, Rain gets the better of him. Brokey might have an angle. Simple misses the shot. This gives Brokey an opportunity, and he seizes it. Nice shot. Deagle Krill kills across the map, and Brokey's still going for the challenge against Boomich there. He could be comfortable with the space that he has, but he wanted a little more. No. They don't want to do it. That's... That's just a, a weird round. Hard to even say much about it. You just... You get two Deagle headshots like that. And, and it's enough to build something behind. Rain eventually goes down. Now they're getting a couple of kills, but it's just, it's too late. They've already kind of conceded it. Wait, no, they can't. All right, I was getting real scared there. Electronic, four kills. They, they take everyone down without losing another player. In itself is kind of remarkable. But for FaZe, that, first of all, they get to keep all the guns and even save the AWP. But those are guns that FaZe themselves could have saved. They're kind of committed to this, it feels like. Yeah, they're going for it. Electronics on the site, though. And he has been so strong from this position. And with Simple at Goose, this is a strong defense. But Olaf immediately takes down Electronic. Simple finds a second. And now it's all Boomage at the ramp. But Twist pushes through the smoke, takes his head off. And we're in a two on two post plant. That's a good setup. Nade goes a little bit too far. Olaf and Twist, it. It's, an, it's unfortunate that they're both stuck where they are. It would be so cool if they could spread out just a bit more because they could get uncomfortable here. He's looking for it. See if he gets bought just the hand. Molotov goes into the corner. <laughs> oh. Twist there to save him. That's a really nice little peek there. And now oh, oh. he goes down anyway. Perfecto with the deagle. He actually had the AWP and didn't even need it. Going to be straight on that bomb. And Navi on a ninth round. That is... That's out of control. <laughs> An incredible shot by Perfecto there. Just instantaneously takes down Olaf. This was a nice cat play from FaZe. It seemed to catch Navi off guard in terms of the timing once again. Just so explosive. But wow, this, this right here, the 1v2 from Perfecto. It feels like we are not stopping and singing the praises of Perfecto. And given how FaZe have been playing, it feels like there should be. Electronic, he's able to take down one. Does he know the players are this close though? No, he doesn't. Gets caught off guard. Kerrigan is able to take him down. That's going to be the bomb site in control of the T side. Wow, I think that's, that's a huge lack of information. They threw that same smoke towards the, t the CT ramp, but there was no one in the middle for Navi to call that out. So I don't think Electronic even knew. No one could hit a jump down. No one saw that the smoke was there. So he had no way of actually knowing that. Twist ready to take the fight. He does a lot of damage to Simple, who's down there with the Famas in hand. Probably should be a little bit worried here. Nice headshot. Carrigan with a double kill to end the round. And a triple kill overall for Carrigan. In fact, that's a nice little round for him. Pit is on his own. He will have to do so well. He knows they're walking up behind him now. He's turned back, trying to fight it with the Deagle. There's one good headshot. Can he get... Oh! oh. He actually got the kill on Twist with a little bit of help from Boomich. Kerrigan oh. flashed, and they just... Did you not see him? Oh, I guess not. That That's so unfortunate for Boomich. Now, Kerrigan taking a Deagle shot to the head of Simple. Does he really find the time to reload? No. Electronic takes him down, and it's a two-on-two. -two. But Olaf... He's thinking about peeking, but it's actually Brokey that finds the first, barely through the smoke there. And now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Electronic, he has a chance to find a tenth for Navi. Throws the flash, looks for the swing, but Brokey takes him down. That's a sixth round for FaZe. Absolutely unbelievable. Good recovery at the end. We'll see if they can continue here, Navi, or FaZe will make the comeback in the second half after the break. Fall back. Brokey has fallen back to long, and he's finding the contest. There are a few T's that he is facing off against. Electronica first. Brokey takes one down. Bit does find the trade. And now Simple, it's his turn. He's swinging off Catwalk. Kerrigan is ready to challenge him. Th those are a lot of peaks coming out from Kerrigan, but he's welcoming the fight. And we can see that many of the phase players have rotated on in to A, and they're controlling it. Navi back on off. They recognize that the remaining players from phase were there and that there is a rotation to be made. 
Yeah, perfect on the middle. Smoke goes up and actually challenging it. Kerrigan running past. He wants to catch the bomb. Kerrigan has read it as a is on one health. Kerrigan is actually such a next level player. He knew all of this was coming. That's why he ignored them in the middle, but he has to find the kill before time runs out and he can't. Perfecto shooting him in the back. Third kill the round for him. But sometimes you can get stuck down here on long if you just give up everything else. Yeah, definitely a possibility. See how FaZe wants to contest. Oh, he swings into every player from Na'Vi. Practically. The damage. Yeah, he does find a lot of damage. So there are players low for Na'Vi, and Rain is here with a Deagle. If he finds a few body shots, this, this is so possible. And there are a couple. Takes down Electronic. Na'Vi are pressing on forward, but Rain is here at Goose, ready to fight. Na'Vi are biding their time, though. They're waiting for the smoke to fade so Simple can see over, and that's what they needed. Simple takes down Rain in the face, but do they know about Olaf, too? Or does it even matter? Spoomich is on the flank, but Olaf dispatches him, kicks him down, and now Perfecto finds Olaf. They also had no grenade, so they, they, I mean, otherwise maybe they would have flashed their way to take the fight early on, but then they just waited for the smoke, like you said, and it actually worked. I'm kind of a little bit surprised. Twist one versus three. Two of them are a single bullet away, so if you found the right targets, well, that's the 100% health player in Perfecto. Instantly down, a attempted jump. Doesn't want to do it again. Tries to use the smoke for coverage. Oh, that actually must have been close. I'd love to see a close-up of that bullet. He runs for it. He takes him down. And now it's a one-on-one -on -one out in the open. Simple's oh. going to be dropped and twist. What a clutch. One versus three. I don't know if he has the time for it, but he's certainly going to go straight for the defuse. Oh, it's so close here. Even without the kit, he's going to have it. That is absolutely miraculous. Just seemed to fit a little better. Navi don't have too much to work with in this round. So, phase And... It Bring the scoreline even closer, unless, unless Simple does that. What? What is he doing? What's happening? Why is he just the Terminator walking in, shooting people? It, it, it's way, he just made it look so casual. Like he was just... Just walked into the angles. Just on, on a stroll. Bit is creeping back, and with the AK going to be taking the kill, and also hired one way or the other, he was going to die. Rain... It was Perfecto from Lower Dark that ended up killing him, and it's Simple with a third headshot of the round. Whatever, man. Did Simple just jump down for that? Yeah, that's, I think he did. That's a little rude. He probably did 360 in the air, we just didn't even see it. Yeah, totally possible. These first kills, though, just peeks right in. Wow, that's, that's just excellent aim. No matter how you spin it. And he does. Yep, okay. <laughs> man, he even waits long enough. He knows the landing inaccuracy, how it yeah. takes a second there given the fact that they didn't commit to that. But we might see a bit of a duel here. Kerrigan versus Simple. Scout v. Scout. Kerrigan gets the better of Simple. Nice equalizer. Oh, and Kerrigan gets another onto Bit. Okay, this is suddenly doable for FaZe. And it's off the back of Kerrigan. He's looking to continue, but Boomich finally puts an end to his shenanigans. Yeah, a bit of a wide swing there. Electronic is also still in play with the AK-47, and he's had himself a very good Dust 2 game so far. Boomich missing a bit of an opportunity, maybe. There is a gap in the smoke that they're going to be worried about. Boomich actually spotting for it. You could tell as he crossed, he wanted to make sure no one was there. Rain with a kill on Boomich. Good headshot. More to follow. Oh, Rain with a double. And it leaves Perfecto low on health here in a one versus two. And they're just going to double peek him. Nicely done. Count of three. And phase. they will win it right back. They're not anywhere near the middle. This is a bit, a little bit concerning. Smokes are already up, and they're going to go for it. It's down to Twist and Olofmeister to try and hold on to the B-bomb side. Everyone is coming for them. 35 seconds left, and Twist, he's going to go down. Bit with the one entry. Olof on his own. Pretty good spray. He turns back, and he nearly drops Simple. If he would have got that kill, it would have made all the difference in the world. And <laughs> Boomich. Oh. Oh. It's horrifying. Just gets away with it, too. Rain was right on the other side. Yeah. Run down by the tech line. That's a bit of a heart, uh, heart attack moment. It, it's just so funny to see Boomich in some of these lurk positions because he's not like your typical lurker that just gets the sly kill and then sneaks off. He just straight up realizes there's an opportunity. He runs at the player and then just runs away. Yeah. It <laughs> just escapes. Oh, that's frustrating. So the, the trading continues. He definitely only knew about one of those players, and yet he tagged up three. Kerrigan... 
is doing some serious work with the scout. It's been impressive to watch him use this gun. And Olaf wh what? takes such a risk there, just runs up mid. He could have gone for the long flank, but no, actually, the pistols of FaZe take down Navi on the cross. They didn't smoke the cross. They wanted the challenge, but Bit, oh, he's got the flank, goes for the spray, though, and the return is there for Kerrigan, and FaZe steal a round from Navi. Probably didn't need to go for the spray then. Probably could have just walked out and at least tapped one or two in the back of the head. Just so confusing. I'd love to see the spin kill from Kerrigan on bit, actually. Yep, yeah, there he is. Like, oh, wow. That's nice. Yeah, what a weird round. Navi, every chance to get to 14 rounds, they let FaZe back into it. He is the only one that's really sort of the... He's the dam between them and all of my students inside. Oh, and the timing is not good for him. He's flashed as well. Bit will take him down. Perfect with the kill on Kerrigan. All of Meister. The bomb's on the other side, though, actually. Brokey is also on his own. I don't even think FaZe know where this attack is happening. They're so confused. All of might be calling for backup. Brokey is walking into the shot against Simple. Navi just I mean, completely dismantling this, this FaZe defense. The this is such a Navi-ish round where you're just moving in multiple positions at the same time and it catches the defense off guard. And Rain and Olaf, they're, they're tasked with trying to... They found the kill on the mid to be. At the same time, there was a kill at long and then Navi decide to go up cat. It's like, like the openings that Navi carved out for themselves, it, it just wasn't even the option they ended up taking. He has a smoke grenade, but again, that doesn't really matter if he's dead, so... Waiting for it. Perfecto. Takes a bit of a peek on this. The flick simple takes him down. You painted the picture for us, Maui, and that's how it turned out. Now they have a little bit of an issue because they have to get close. He's got the bomb site. The bomb is making its way in on bit right behind him. They're going to be smoking it off, and FaZe aren't even moving. That's it. That one rifle and one kill. What a wild way to win a round. And just slightly led. I think Perfecto was in front of him just to take a shot. You know, maybe even call out the position. It's hard to know for us, but... That works out so well. They're gonna lose the round. It's 15 to, to 10 now. Navi, just a single round away. Yeah, he, I mean, he's playing it carefully. You can't really charge all of my stuff with being reckless. He just, it's just so fast. Yeah, Boomich looking around middle. Let's see how quick they go. Flash is so good. They're blind inside of the bomb site. They can't see anything. Well, he has to come up big with a spray down, but the smoke is on top, and he can't see anything around him. Perfecto's going to be finding him in through the window. It's rain. He tried to get in there, but he's going to get shut down. Big triple for Perfecto. He took down the entire B bomb site. At least the flank of Boomich is gone, but I'm not sure that's helping them right now. Kerrigan and Brokey, 2% chance. I actually think that's not even far from the mark. I have no idea how you would ever win this retake. Brokey's down and out, and Kerrigan... There's nothing to do here. Navi, I don't know, a little bit shaky at the beginning of the second half, but now they've got control back at it. 16 to 10 as they bring down FaZe on their own map pick and put us onto Mirage for a second map. It's very, very impressive for uh, for Navi once again. Yeah, a great T side. I mean, it was it was shaky in the beginning. It was back and forth. It's going to get interesting if Navi are able to get it. Oh, they're running the same play. Yeah, it looks like it. So there's a smoke set up. Gonna be towards connector. Bit will take the kill there, dropping Twist, who instead of running to, to all the way upper, just runs straight down the underpass and gets trucked by Bit. Boom, which is still hanging out. Not sure if anyone is pushing. They've used all of the nades except for the single flashbang on electronic, so this is interesting. Carrigan goes down next. And they're failing the shot that broke. He could have been a headshot on simple, but it's not. All of Meister and Rain are left. Two versus five, and I still don't know. I'm 100% clear what the strategy is here for Navi, but it's working. Yeah, yeah. I, if they, if Twist did the same thing that he did before the restart, this could be a phase round, but on a singular mission. It seems like that's just something that's a hallmark. And Olaf, if he had a kit right now, you would think that there's a possibility here, but because he doesn't, he'll just be looking for some kills, maybe try to bait him out. See that Bit is worried because of that, but Bit does <laughs> take him out. Not finding anyone in middle at the moment. A little bit of a fight there, but it's just a USP, and Simple's going to be charging in to take that kill. He's ready for more, but the Mac 10 like you mentioned earlier, with the armor. Without the armor, he probably would have been dead in that moment. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, Brokey finally mollied out of the position. They should have heard that. Now, Bits on the entry route, and, but the pistols are doing a lot of damage for FaZe. It's just electronic. All of a sudden, FaZe have captured this. 
Electronic has to try to juggle the situation. There's so many players he has to deal with, and he's having a very hard time, but he's able to recover in time to take down Twist. But does he know about Rain in the apartments? That seems to be the ace up the sleeve of face. He's aware that this is a possibility, but he couldn't quite catch Rain. Kerrigan might just give this up. Yes, Electronic finds it, but Rain is there for the trade. FaZe get their first round off the back of just pistols. Navi are going to be buying back. They're going to still challenge this, and Olaf might get caught off guard. No, Boomich didn't see him. He actually scanned away from it, but finally does catch him off. There's a trade from Twist, though, although the main hit is towards this A site. And Rain is so flashed, he can't see anything. Then again, no, they can't either. Twist set up that flashbang to help out Rain, and now he's getting a kill, doing a lot of work in the round here, Twist. Double kill and a flashbang to secure one for Rain. Twist, an absolute hero in that round. And I would expect nothing different for the first gun round here. We've got Boomich going along with Bit towards middle now. But the smoke at top mid isn't even there yet. Bit dies, and that, that feels like Navi really looking before they leave. Yeah, that's a weird... And, and they said, oh, and a nade. Twist able to find it. I did not see that coming. They actually set up the nades and T-spawn right away. They didn't even delay as far as I can tell, but they were just so quick to run in front and broke heat. Getting the kill on Simple on top. A big double for him and Electronic. And yeah, challenging phase like that. It, maybe Navi wanted to beat the utility, maybe they, but let's see. Electronic caught off guard. That, uh, yeah, that's, that's just so curious that they wanted to fight, swing out before the smokes even bloomed. Saying it's either gonna be that trio over at the A bomb side or maybe Kerrigan and Olive over at B. It's finding the shot there, Brokey, right on top of the smoke and he just slips out. Ooh, twist. Awkward spray in the beginning. Looked like his crosshair was slightly misplaced, but he still wins the battle against Bit. And now they're five versus three. Boomich made a big assumption, and he wasn't right about it either. No. Every aggressive stance from Navi in this round was caught. I mean, they have a lot of needs to try and slow it down. It'd be more fun if they knew that there weren't going to be Molotovs or anything else like that. That's a great setup. All of Meister able to get that double kill. He had one, it's on the A ramp there. I thought if he used it for connector, it would have been a nightmare. 25 seconds now on the clock. Kerrigan walking through the smoker behind them, and that's a huge play. Simple's gonna be going down. Electronic and Perfecto left alive, but 18 seconds on the clock, and they are very low on health. They have the bomb sight, but they're just a bullet away. And Olofmeister is showing up with 100% health, and he's waiting for it. Not sure if anyone's pushed forward. AKs are out there. Electronic is in shadow. And Perfecto was playing all the way at the back of the bomb site, and here he comes just slinking in. Olaf Meister, is he going to be quick enough? That's the right pre aim, and he takes down Electronic. Perfecto way in the back, and Olaf Meister doesn't really know it. He's not checking for it either. He taps it, assuming that he's in CT spawn, and Perfecto's right behind him, walking out for the execution kill. Finally, Navi pick up another round, but that took everything they had. Yet the rest of Navi is grouping up towards A, and this timing might catch off phase. They have two players in CT, and Brokey hits the shot. That stops the Palace offensive, and he even presses on forward. He's looking for more, and there it is. Takes down Simple. Brokey just fighting behind Triple. Rain chimes in finally, and that only leaves the remaining mid player in Bit. And he's just, he's just taken out too. In spite of Bit leaving through the mid portion of it, yeah, so this, this move here is just... So good. Simple caught off guard, and that's never really easy to do. Wow. All right, then. The whole defense on a macro level is just finding pretty much every single window of opportunity. But this one might get... No! Boomich doesn't get the kill on Kerrigan. What a shot from Kerrigan right in the face of the opposing in-game leader. But Kerrigan, he does fall to Electronic. This makes things difficult for Rain, but Twist is there to support him. And Twist just pushes on forward and takes down Simple too. That shot from Kerrigan is outrageous. He was probably meant to be dead in that moment, but instead it's 10 to four. Yeah, so this is the opening kill on Bit. But this is, this is wild. Wow, nicely done. Twist is 21 and five and Brokey is 15 and five. Navi just taking a vacation in the middle of the game. Not the right time for it either. Boomich, this is the kind of run that we, we you mentioned it earlier. He's got a really good knack for getting in here. 
They haven't used it much yet, and it, and maybe he's lost the mojo himself. Getting caught by Carrigan. Shot in the back. It's now a five on three. And all of Meister going to be taking down Simple. Man, they're wrecking them. 11 to four in the first half in favor of FaZe. That is a very solid first half victory. They just need five rounds in the second half. That's coming up after the break. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you play B. Twist yeah. though with 21 kills. Man. Outrageous. Yeah, he's going absolutely crazy. And FaZe, they don't want to slow down. They're going for a fast B play. Electronic is right here to find one. Yep, good headshot to begin with. Bit in the back. They have a good setup. Everyone from Navi is here. They needed to get an instant kill. Otherwise, the whole Navi firing squad were going to take them down. Once those USPs are in play, it's just not going to matter. They get shut down. Navi win a round finally. But they certainly threw a bunch of nades to suggest that something would happen over on that side. You see how the window over at the B is, is smoked off in towards the market. Still a four on four. And now it's a four on three as Bit will find the kill on Kerrigan. Still, the main push is coming, but it's a bit of a crossfire. Really well done from Simple. That's an important kill. Bit will follow up with the FAMAS to take down all of Meister. FaZe, they had something building in this round, but it kind of got taken away from Bit and Simple just having a double kill each. And now Twist, one versus three for him. And he's walking into a crossfire of his own. Maybe a chance. Yep, he reads it well, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he can actually win it. And eventually it'll be a third kill for Simple, who has had some real struggles of his own. And the other four are just Deagles. Electronic is playing in a really awkward angle for them to clear out with Deagles. He's gonna try anyway. Nice shot from Olof. We'll bring him down after he dropped Twist. And now he's real close here, Olof. He could get the job done. But Boomich will stay alive. That is so unfortunate. If he could have got that, he would have picked up the M4. It would have been a three on three. And a lot could have worked out their way. Rain is going to be dropped last. It is 11-9. Navi, they're just right back into this game, Alex. No smoke for window, though means that Electronic could activate, but it looks like he might be waiting for Simple Smoke to fade, and oh, Simple, he does it all on his own. Two kills. Electronic backed off the angle, though, not able to capitalize off of the commotion that Simple caused, although he does hear Olaf jumping in. This should be free for Electronic. Now Boomish pushes towards Ramp, catches Twist off guard. That was a pivotal fight, and he takes down a Twist. But Kerrigan, he spotted a hole in this defense. He made his way all the way up Cat. He's faking it for what? A third or fourth time this round. Now he's into the window, but they're watching it and he's going to be crawling through to his certain death. Boomwich will pick it up. It's now 11 to 10. Man, FaZe, they, they need to call their way back into this game. They don't have a lot of money either. The question is, where does he throw it in a situation like this? Oh, bit. He's actually just going to... Oh, I can't believe it. All of my stuff. He looked lost and oh. confused. Rain will pick up a kill on Simple. I'm not even sure if this is part of any strategy. They just won two fights, and now they're going to go because they were all in position to. Electronic will go down to Olofmeister, and that means Boomich is on his own back here, going to get trucked by Twist. That's that's very confusing. They just got the opening, and they did it anyway. So, so do you think they can replay that strat, or did they tip their hand a bit with what they were doing? That's interesting. Here we go. Yeah. Sub 40 seconds. Bomb is outside. Boomich is in sandwich playing around. Simple is getting the one kill. Boomich with the headshot on twist. Bringing down the top fragger of FaZe. And now we're down below 30 seconds. And they're running out of time right now, FaZe. They don't have a lot of room for error when there's just this little time on the clock. 20 seconds. And Boomich, he's hanging around. They're finally going to Molotov out of position. He doesn't check anything. He goes down to rain. 15 seconds on the clock. Perfecto is in connector. Simple in the jungle. They have the cross and they have the cross right now. Nine seconds. Eight seconds. Perfecto on the headshot. And now Brokey on his own. He can't make the cross. Surely he's dead. He doesn't have the time anyway. It's going to be another round for Navi. They tie it back up to 12. What a close round. Don't do it, Borgi. It's not worth it. No, no. Okay, yeah. Keeps it into the next round. There's only one smoke left for FaZe. And, and they're all geared up for an A play. This is going to be a little bit dry. Boomich fights against Olaf, and he takes that space. That is huge. That makes this defense so much stronger because it's now a, a one-dimensional attack. Everybody yeah. from FaZe coming out of the ramp now. The Molotov is on Electronic. It's burning him alive. He has to fight. This might find an opening for FaZe, but no, Boomich swings in to get the kill, and now everybody from Navi has arrived. They find a 13th off of a FaZe play that they're probably wondering maybe we needed a little more utility for it. I think they were expecting some kind of fast B play coming out here, Navi, because they had three people in that B bomb site for quite a while. 
That's not happening. Rain with his back turned and Bit will take him down. And they must see that it was Bit with that AWP mid. Maybe they can guess that Timbalas, the other one. Boomich walking past the timing. Crossfire set up. Broki trying to bring it back. It's going to be Electronic going down to all of Meister, sneaking in through the window. A missed shot here. And they know that he's on the other side. But Boomich, that smoke is really helping him out right now. Flash through. What a play from all of Meister. And he goes for more. Nearly could have had Simple on top of it. It's Broki to find Bit. But from the underpass, dropping the bomb. It's Perfecto. And we're back into a 2 on 2. And they need to play for time here, Navi. 20 seconds they have to come find perfecto nice shot from simple and that leaves all of on his own he's gonna go down it is a double kill for perfecto the fact that he stopped the bomb the fact that he was there in underpass that makes all the difference now the money is low for phase molotov's raining everywhere and this is going to be the fight for the a bomb site Navi are coming through the middle and connector but they could be slowed down and boomich has to back on out so it's going to be a very very swift bomb plant and that puts the pressure right back on Navi. What a lineup, though. Boomage with a double kill. And that might shut it down. They actually had, they just needed to escape the bomb zone. And they would have had a very good after plant. But maybe that has been compromised by that little double spray down. They're out of nades on the phase side. So they can't really slow them down any longer. Perfecto with a headshot on Kerrigan to bring him down and Brokey on his own. One versus four. He's got a deagle up here, and there's just no way that he can save this round. They're already defusing, and when he comes out, it's just an ocean of smoke on the other side. That's 15. That is series point for Na'Vi. And FaZe, at least they got the bomb plant. At least they're going to have the cash to buy something. But this spray for Boomich, that's, that's a everything. perfect timing. Yeah, that is everything. And that 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 was actually the A exec remix I was kind of prefacing earlier. FaZe decide to run it, but getting caught there at bench is everything. And Boomich recognizes that when that exec comes out... Slows them down. Speaking of smokes, FaZe have two of them left. And two flashbangs, and oh, what wow. a peak. Kerrigan is down. Twist nearly following into the grave. They're on the other side, but the bomb is on twist. Oh, that's a disaster. If he dies, he can't escape. 30 seconds. That just might be the game right here. Brokey on his own. One versus four to try and run into the middle. He has to just kill them. He actually can't get back into the bomb side. So this is just an all-out mission. Nade at his feet, and they have a massive crossfire that he can never, ever break. Wait, He's going to get what? one of the kills, and right there, two of them waiting. Electronic to take him down. 16-13. Na'Vi make an insane comeback from an, what, 11-4 first half? Yes. into a victory at the end, denying Ancient and taking down Phase 2-0. Yeah, that great comeback, great, great resilience from Navi there. We saw that their players in the first half took a while to activate.